Hello there, I'm Alger Hill and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, Millennium Dawn. We are playing the British Empire, that is the Royal We, of course, because we are indeed Charles III, the Monarchists. It's 16th of February 2005, and I have just got that glorious, glorious benefit of a Caesar's belly against the Egyptians. I realize, of course, that I have not put any dudes onto my Dudekaiser. Why have I not done this? I don't know. Please go back to Gibraltar. Need to put ships onto my dude. There we go. Much better. Create new air wing. Of 91. Can I just... 91. Perfect. There we are. When does my justification end? April. Cool. Oh god, I need to stop fucking training these guys. Whoops. Alright, here we go. They will arrive on the 25th. And the moment they do, uh, we will be able to send our troops into the Eastern Mediterranean for the con Eastern Convoy raiding, and then. We will basically just begin the general invasion. I'm really excited, guys. What's this? Why is this purple? It's very weird looking. Alright, let's do this. Ah, shit, I got two more of my normal infantry ones here. Fuck, they should not be there. You shouldn't be there. Okay, uh, are we ready, guys? Are we freaking ready? Yes, let's do it. Okay, so... Convoy escort in the Eastern Mediterranean, please. Do not repair. Or, well, low, basically. Carry the nation at any cost or survive at any cost? Basically, do your fucking job. Alright. They can do it now. I'm gonna make a quick save, because we are ready and willing. British Empire. Save that shit. Let's do it. Get ready, guys, for the first proper invasion besides the invasion of, of course, Egypt. Declare. Go. British Empire goes to war. You know, the United Arab Republic of Egypt. Cool. Immediately. Go, Marines, go. Go, go, gadget, Marines. Uh, they should be okay. There are 62 air friendly ships and 7 enemy ships present, so we should be alright. They are giving us a lot of benefits. And of course, because they are, they should be bombarding as well, which is great. Because of the capital ships and my 5 missile ships, they should be providing some great bonuses. They have not joined a faction yet, which is awesome. I'm definitely suffering some attrition, but that's okay. Oh boy. I'm going to need to have basically divide these guys into two. Because I don't really have field marshals. In fact, I'm actually about to get an extra military. Uh, I actually already have a bonus score, don't I? Because I have the starting level of generals. So. Let's just. Um, there we go. Let's get a new commander here. Yes, Hubert Haig. And another one. So I got half of each, and we'll put half in each one like that. And they're going to get uh, Rupert Smith. Perfect. Let's do it. So 18 in each. Though, to be honest, we could fit more. So let's send them over here. We got that skill. We got that army doctrine. Right, so now I can choose an army of quality or army of quantity. Quality gives me extra experience gain, which is kind of useless for me, to be honest. Or, because I'm, I'm going to be fighting so much, I have so much experience. Or, and it also gives me starting levels of new army leaders, which is pretty valuable, but I have a lot of generals already. But army quantity is 3% recruitable population. I think the 3% is really what I want here. It also means I can avoid getting the stuff I don't want just yet. So I think that's... Definitely something I want to do get the army of quantity, but the thing is in the meantime I think I want to be doing restore the Raj first Because I want to start getting that case's belly against the Raj 
But no, it's going to take a long time before we're even ready to invade. So let's go Army of Quantity. Perfect. Are they there yet? Not yet. It takes a little while, guys. It takes a little while. Uh, those guys have left. They're on their way. A lot of convoys are being used. We have nukes like crazy. A thought occurs that I probably could have put, dropped a bomb on these guys and nuked the crap out of them. They are defending every single one of their borders. Kind of wish I put infantry equipment on the marines now. Here it comes, guys. Naval strike torpedo tactics. Okay. Strategic bombing, ground support. Uh, sure. I just want to see what happens. I just, I just want to see if we win. Here we go. I mean, it's 20 divisions attacking two places. I think we should be fine. This is like a big D-Day. This is like a new D-Day. Okay, and they've just been attacked. They're trying to sink me. 20 convoys have been destroyed. Nope, we made it. No one died. Uh, we blew up one of their ships, as well as my planes really helped as well. Oh, no, no, no one got the convoys. They escaped. Okay, 97. Yes, they have one dude. Yes, it's 227. Defender's tactic damage. Defend. Plus 5% versus tw minus 25% defense. Ah, the shock value. Beautiful. I love it. Shit, they keep trying to capture my convoys. But the thing is... Is that they're not really doing much. Whoa, we just obliterated them. Okay, there it is. There's the first lot. So, first group. Get in there. Let's try and get some... Uh, let's try and get some leeway here. Kind of seems like the Marines are doing the work. Keeping them distracted, guys. I'm thinking maybe we should stay here. No longer the effects of worker strikes. And there's the second lot. We've done the breach. That is a sick breach, guys. Here it is. Next lot. Let's go. Oh, uh, the planes. Oh, wow. So they tried... 50, 59 of their attack aircraft tried to, to, tried to attack us. 132 of our attack aircraft invaded them. I'm not bringing 132 attack aircraft, so I'm not really sure where that came from. But all right. Whatever. They're still... So they're on their way. The brigades are coming, lads. The brigades are coming. The infantry are holding. Their artillery divisions are very weak. Part of me thinks I really should have been building a strategic bomber or something. Or something like that, anyway. In fact, that might be a good idea. Yeah, that's probably going to be smart. Let's get a couple of those. Let's try and get some strategic bombers going. Ah, oh, more aluminium, please. None of these are airfields. Uh, so over here, we have 132. What? Airbase is overcrowded? What are you talking about? I only sent 91, 92 of you. Damn it, I didn't tell you to do that. What the fuck? Ah, now they're overburdened. I didn't tell them to be overburdened, but now they are. Shit, they're getting pushed back. Come on, guys. This is why you need a naval base. Yes! We landed. We have landed, my friends. And we're going to set that offensive line to uh, Elamine. Shit. So we're going to set the offensive line down and around. Perfect. 
We got this, guys. We got this. Uh, as long as they don't push anyone back. Hunter killer groups. Nice, nice, nice. Is there any better, like, air doctrines or fl planes we could be getting? No, it's fine. Uh, no, not time for that. Oh, shit, we're not getting, like, soft attack and leg infantry. There it is. So, yes, we are going to start running out of supply pretty swiftly. Um, so, how do I ensure... So, the missile cruisers... There we go. They're going to need their own admiral, of course. So, they should now be providing um, bombardment bonuses, shouldn't they? As far as I'm aware, bombardment can occur from missile cruisers. Let me look it up. I can all tap and just Google it. But I'm pretty sure that you can do that. I mean, I very rarely do naval bombardment. But short bombardment, isn't it? You need to just input the fleet there. In the sea area next to the land province you wish to bombard, keep it stationed there with the whole mission. Bombardment will be automatically added when it is capable. The maximum bombardment is 25%. So it should just do it now. These are capital ships, right? I hope so. Hey, they've actually sunk ships. Good stuff. Enemy air superiority reduction. Why? Oh, because they have anti-air. Yes. Get stuck in, I guess. Alright, and everyone else? Obviously, your front line is here. Your offensive line. I want you guys to push into Cairo. But the thing is, this allows them to kind of... You can use the Marines as a bit of a, a buffer. Here we go. Here we go. Like, these are the capital ships, right? No! Missile cruisers are not capital ships. As far as I'm aware... No, they are. Yeah. What well, carrier is then? Okay. Because we're not getting the bonuses, so... Alright. Let's put a fleet on there. I thought they would. No, they don't. See yes! There it is! Shore bombardment. Oh, maybe it was there the whole time. Alright, fine. Alright, there we go. We've done it. We've got two little breaches. We're not, I mean, the problem is we're not really killing anyone. We basically need to catch them when they're not attacking us. Which is never. Alright, now stop what you're doing, please. I do not appreciate it. Let's give this a go. We'll send half to each. Shit, I did it wrong. <laughs> and also these guys as well. There we go. Now we're attacking. Send the, the best we have. There it is. Maybe the Marine should be the one trying to push over to Cairo. But... Uh, they can only just pierce us. They basically can't do damage. Our tanks do a shit ton. This is good. This is good. They are very slowly being wrecked. Okay. This is good. Overrun. Yes. Fuck. What are you doing? Stop it. So we do definitely need to kind of 
keep up this assault. So the Marines will go that way. There we go. There we are. So that stops them from trying anything. And these guys can push down and go into the Battle of El Amin. We're not out of supply just yet. We're doing okay. Wait, where is the fucking airport? That's what I want to know. Okay, so this air wing is not right. What's the plane situation here? Can I... No, I can only put Gen 3 attack on there, but why are they then not the correct one? This is what I don't understand. I told them to be a specific amount, and it didn't work. Flory Warrior is now just auto-hosting me on his stream. Thank you very much for that auto-host, Flory. Lovely to have met you at ParadoxCon, because woo! It was great. Uh, people who are just joining me, I am actually recording this directly for YouTube, so anything you say in chat will appear. Please don't abuse me too hard. And we are just basically playing a lovely game of Millennium Dawn uh, as the British Empire. I have conquered in India, uh, Ireland, and we are just invading into Egypt. We've done a couple naval invasions, supporting it with some capital ships and stuff like that. But it's still, it's still a, it's still a challenge. I will say that. And I think the thing is, is that uh, we don't have air superiority. So at the moment, problem. Let's just try and put these guys there, because. Ah, oh, these guys are fucking close air support, aren't they? Shit. Can I just build some airports here, for God's sakes? Can I just be allowed to... Yes, I can just build an airport. Thank you. Holy shit, that's annoying. I can just try and build some planes or something. Alright, here we go. I'm trying to stop these guys. Alright, there it is. Thank you. Now we're pushing in a bit better. There it is. That's a bit better. Alright. That is exactly what I needed. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Okay, so we're pushing in again. Uh, obviously, some of these attacks are not the best ideas, but they're the best things we can deal with right now. Did we just overrun someone? I think we did, yeah. So let's just uh, keep chucking tanks at these guys. There we go. It's the Cairo guys that I really want to obliterate. And I think... Okay, we are... It keeps saying overrun, but I don't know why it keeps saying that. Okay, so I don't want to do that. So that, that airbase will be done in a little while. We can build an airbase and we can chuck our fighters in there and use that to kind of supplement our force. There we go. What is this? Please stop. What are you doing, guys? Let's go. Okay, and then maybe you could go here instead. No, it's okay. Actually, moving to moving there is probably better, actually. Yes! Oh, look at this. This is how you do naval invasions, guys. This is how you do naval invasions. How you do it right. Uh, pushing that up. Okay. There it is. Here comes Cairo. Oh, there it goes, Cairo, maybe. Just want to be attacking over the river here. Obviously, our supply is taking a bit of a hit, but to be honest, it's going super well. Yes! Alright, so, tanks, push up to these guys. You guys, go to the Suez. You guys, over here. Uh, you guys, stop whatever the fuck they think they're trying to do. You guys, over here. Oh, this is it. This is what you want to see, guys. This is what you want to see. Okay, we need to attack in multiple directions to try and get to Suez. Uh, obviously, we are there. They are very close to capitulation. Uh, we can send them in that way, and we can send these guys that way, and these guys that way. Basically obliterate them. Oh, hey, there's actually an airport here. Oh, never mind. I guess we don't need the airports. Cool, so we can start sending planes, um, and one bomber. <laughs> Yay. 
There we are. And so we do actually have a strategic bomber now. Hold on, when is he? He'll be there on the 18th of May. So like seven days to get there. That's fine. All right, we're doing okay. Uh, Cairo will fall very shortly. Or Egypt itself will fall, rather. We just need to take a couple more territories. Maybe we can take... I think... Oh, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. If we stop them from moving, we want to stop them from reinforcing anything they're doing. Okay, you guys clearly need to be taking this. They have a lot of troops there. Uh, don't let them reinforce. Oh, here we go. Port Said just fell. Nice. So we want to we wanna shift that to taking the eastern bits. There's no actual points we can take. In fact, it's actually just territory. There is uh, two victory points to the southeast. It is, the victory is just going to be taken now just from conquering random stuff, basically. Ready. I say random stuff, but just like, you know, other stuff. So you're going to go over here, and we might just be able to encircle them. They don't have a port, so to be honest, they should be dead. Here we are. And we'll just keep going there. So the episode's almost over, guys, but I just before I finish it, I want to make sure that I do beat these guys up a gentle little bit. And we're also getting some military factories, but we'll leave that alone for now, because we don't really need that just yet. And then we'll just go here to completely encircle them. They should capitulate relatively soon. There we go. It's just the sewers we have to worry about, really. Also, maybe we shouldn't be attacking over the fucking river. Not really sure my goddamn what, what the hell my problem is. There we go. Perfect. Ah, there we go. And we got Army of Quantity, and now we are at 2% total amount. That is fantastic. Alright, we will now start preparing for the invasion against India. Amazing. Suez will fall very shortly. It's actually worth two victory points. The moment that falls, we actually win, so that's cool. Surprisingly, that's actually winning. Ha oh, Jesus, look at this. What? Where are you going? Who knows? There it is. Alright, we got everything. So, we're going to just conquer everything. We're going to take all states. That's going to increase war tension by 14.5%, but we definitely need it. We don't want to puppet. We want to just conquer it flat out. So, we're going to end our turn. Perfect. It has dragged war exhaustion up amazingly. However, we've immediately gained a shit ton of infantry equipment, which is amazing. Uh, so the guys who are suffering from some attrition issues. Just make sure we're all in the right place. And there it is. Cairo, well, Egypt, rather, is ours. Uh, the war tension is problematic. But we've done it. We've conquered everything we needed to conquer. Well, so far, anyway. We've taken Egypt, we've retaken the Suez Canal. Uh, as soon as we finish the focuses and kind of retrain some more troops, we will then invade into India. And basically do the whole thing again. Go in three points. Two major towns in Babay, uh, Gujarat, and what is this? In Goa. It'll give us a lot. We'll have a three-pronged offensive moving to the northwest of Delhi. Moving across the middle and up. And then these guys moving there and wrapping around. Actually, it might be better for these guys to head to Delhi. These guys to head there and these guys to head down. That would be better. We get a nice even spread. Build a decent front line. Uh, and just rush the cap points, and we should be okay. So make sure to check out the other series I have on my channel, guys. Uh, I did just get a follow notification of Use Tor A, who's now following the stream. I have no idea why the notification did not display. That's really annoying. Uh, thank you for that follow, Use Tor A. I'm sure that you're now on YouTube because this is actually being recorded directly to YouTube. Uh, and I hope you guys check out the rest of my series. Uh, you can find them in the description. My Patreon is also there as well. Let me know what you think of my series. Give me a like and a comment. I want to know what you think. If I suck, if I don't. I was Aldra Hill and I'll continue to be, and this has been some Hearts of Iron 4, Millennium Dawn, playing some Great Britain. Bye-bye.